Hey guys, welcome back to Angel. Thank you so much for joining me here for this episode. I'm really, really excited to get to watching this one. I've just finished the previous Buffy episode where we had Angel show up in Sunnydale and that was so, so incredible to see him there again. But Buffy had no clue that he was there until the end of the episode where Xander had a big mouth and he ended up saying that Angel had been there watching Buffy all along. So I'm wondering if this episode uh, sort of picks up where we left off there with Angel still in Sunnydale. I'm really, really keen and curious to see where this episode goes. So let's get watching. Oh, he's back home. I thought he would still be in Sunnydale, I guess. I need to get back. Late last night. Where's the crabby scowl, the morbid gloom? <laughs> this just means it cut deeper than usual. Maybe he's over. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Don't do it, Angel! Listen to me, man. It's not worth it. <laughs> you can't let her get to you like this. Why would you let me have that? Because I needed to level my desk and the floors I needed. <laughs> You two thought. Doyle did. You know how he always jumps to conclusions. You saw Buffy. It wasn't a social call. I was there to protect her. She didn't even know I was there. So you avoided her? Yes. Buffy will always be a part of me, and that's never going to change. If my ex came to town and was all stalking me in the shadows, and then he didn't even say hello, <gasps> I'd be... A little upset. <sighs> Wouldn't you? Oh. Oh. She's here. <laughs> oh man okay so angel's not in sunnydale anymore but buffy's here in la what's the reasoning behind buffy coming here seeing angel it must really have affected her that he was in sunnydale what brings you to i came to see my father oh thought i'd stop by oh. what a surprise <laughs> cordelia how are you good i'm good you? I've been better. Been better. Well, um, it's good to... Can I get you anything? How about an explanation? Who do you think you are coming to my town, following me around behind my back? What are we playing here? We're not. I'm not playing anything. I wrestled with this decision. Which you made without me. I tried to do what I thought was right. You didn't feel that I was important enough to even tell me that you were there. It's because I felt you were important that I didn't tell you. I'm a big girl now, Angel. I'm not in high school anymore. And I don't need you skulking around, trying to protect me. Unless, of course, I'm in some gigantic fight to the death, which I was last night. That was you helping me, wasn't it? I was in the neighborhood, skulking. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, they'll be into this for a while. We still have time for a cappuccino and probably the director's <laughs> cut of the Titanic. And what else was I supposed to do? I just know that when you're around, whether I see you or not, I feel you inside. So let's just stick to the plan. Keep our distance until a lot of time has passed. Given enough time, we should be able to... Forget. Yeah. I'm gonna go start forgetting. Oh, jeez. Oh, Angel! <laughs> right. The Buffy and Angel show. First, they talk about their differences, and then they punch them out. Shouldn't we... Stick our noses where they don't belong and get them flattened? No, thank you. Oh, no. They're just gonna walk away. Whoa. He's still alive? Oh, okay. <laughs> Friend of yours? Never saw it before. We should go kill it. <laughs> I'm free. Look, can we just get on with the hunting? I'd like to have this done before dark. I can handle this myself. You bailed me out last night. I'd like us to be even. We're keeping score now. Okay, okay. That's that same, it's his blood, his green goo. You okay? I feel weird. Oh. I know. I do too. I mean, I only came to see you so I could tell you face to face not to see me face to face anymore. <laughs> it's just really confusing being around you. Yes. No, I, I meant I, I felt weird from the demon's blood. <laughs> when we're apart, it's easier. Yeah. It hurts every day, but I live with it. Yeah. Now you're right here and I, I can actually reach out. It's more than confusing. It's unbearable. But we have to bear, right? I mean, what else can we do? 
doesn't work with us. It can't. No, I, I can't give you a life or a future or anything a real girl would want. If we let something happen here, we'd want more. Yes. And nothing's changed. Nope. I was really jonesing for another heartbreaking sewer talk. I'm sorry. I... You know, I'm on the brink of something back home. I I'm actually heading toward a pretty good life now that... I'm out of the picture. That's why I left. Yeah. I want you to have it. Could we just find this thing and get this finished? What if it went up? End of the day. Ray knows I can't follow. Oh, but I can. Yes, okay. It's best all around if we split up. In more ways than one. I can handle it. Be careful. Oh. I don't know if that guy went up at all. I just feel that that is a trap. Well, not a trap, but a diversion. I think he's still in the sewer. That's him. <laughs> Interesting fight. I love the use of the blades in this. Oh, okay. Now it's back to, oh, okay, like little sticks. We're going through a whole repertoire of uh, weapons. Nice, we got him. Good. Oh, he had a cut on his hand. So that green stuff is in him now. He's probably gonna turn into one of those green monster things. Heartbeat? Alive. What? He's alive? <laughs> Come on, they fight. Yeah. She killed him. All oh, the dust. Oops. My bad. It's just dust. I forgot to sweep under the rug. What are you trying to give me a heart attack? Hey, don't blame me if he's too cheap to hire a cleaning lady. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? What happened? Mm. Did you do it with Buffy? You walked in the front door from the street. You've yeah. got an umbrella. This is only temporary, right? It's only temporary. He's alive, Cordelia. Alive? Buffy and I were attacked by some kind of demon. Some of its blood mixed with mine. And you wound up with a pulse. I want to find out what kind of demon that was. In my back. It hurts. Everything's more real. I have a mortal body. I am so hungry. Look out, he's going to eat. <laughs> Everything in sight. <laughs> oh my god. Food. This is unbelievable. <laughs> yes. This is so. Mm, no, I forgot how good it all tastes when you're alive. Yeah, they didn't even have cookie dough fudge mint chip in your day. No. Oh. <laughs> mm. so Chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. It's oh. good, isn't it? <laughs> chocolate? All right, all right. We need so to focus adorable. here. Try and figure it out. I love chocolate. Oh, yeah, but not as it turns out, yogurt. <laughs> Fine, Buffy. She's in Santa Monica near the Lone Bar. Tell her I killed the demon. Don't tell her what's happened to me. Don't tell her I know what it means. Yeah, I doubt it's it's not permanent. It's called a Mora demon. They're pretty powerful assassins. Veins run with the blood of eternity. Its blood has regenerative properties. Right. Oh, his reflection. Which explains what happened to me. The demon's dead. You're alive. It's happy fun time. What's going on here, Doyle? I thought the only way you could be made mortal was if the powers that be stepped in. How come I keep getting the feeling that you're not telling me everything? We're both on a need-to-know basis here. I need to know about oh, this. Wow. Is this permanent? I mean, am I normal Joe now? Can I have a normal life? I want to speak to the powers that be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. That's easier said than done, bud. The powers that be don't live in our reality. Maybe we could try the oracles. But hey, if they turn you into a toad, don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> we beseech access to the knowing ones. That's so amazing. So he goes through that gateway. All you're right. In. Come before us, lower being. <gasps> what have you brought us? Was I supposed to call us forth and bring no offering? <gasps> brought you this. <laughs> I like time. There's so little and so much of it. <laughs> it's true then, brother. He's no longer a warrior. Wasn't the powers that be that did this? The powers that be. You faced a more a demon, life goes on. My life is a human. But it's happened, it was meant to be. From this day, you will live and die as any mortal man. Privy to all the attendant pains and pleasures. Surely this is not permanent. That's it, I'm free. <laughs> They're a little confusing, but I mean, the gist is, it's, it's real. What? I'm free. What do I do now? I got this whole new life spread out before me. I don't know where to begin. Right. Begin it's with Buffy. <laughs> you pretty much do whatever you want now. What do you want? Buffy. 
it, it, it'll last for this episode and then that's it. Don't get too into it. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. And I love the music. <laughs> Jealous or not, our lives are about to kaleidoscope. Angels only been human a day. Don't they deserve a little <laughs> happiness after all they've been through? <sighs> they get groiny with one another. The world as we know it falls apart. Well, he's not cursed anymore. But anyway, you can't be sure that they're... They've got the forbidden love of all time. I'm sure they're down there just having tea and crackers. <laughs> oh, no, they are. You like some more? No. They're beautiful. Maybe we'd be asking for trouble rushing back into things. Not, not that I don't want to rush. I mean, you spoke to the oracles, and they did say that you were cured for good. But how do we know that they really speak for the powers? And then the two of us are in even deeper, and it's grr all over again. Mm -hmm, it would mm -hmm. be smart to wait a while. See if this mortal thing takes. Exactly. I'm not saying I don't want you, Buffy. You know how much? I'm just saying it's worth the wait to know that it's right. I know. Yes, I know. I need to be sure you won't get hurt again. You know, it's a good thing I didn't fantasize about you turning human only about ten zillion times. <laughs> So we'll talk soon. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do we assume? I think we definitely assume. A perfect EM. You're human for like a minute and already there's cookie dough fudge mint chip in the fridge. God, I love food. Food is good. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm just so worried. This can't be nice. This can't be good. That time you just spent in the kitchen, that was enough time apart. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, mortal coordination leaving <laughs> something to be desired. It's just right. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen him so happy. Well, this is all working out nicely. I'm out of a job. <sighs> hey, not just you, you know. Oh, please, who are you kidding? Hey, I'm glad for Angel. But if that means I'm off the hook with the powers to be as well, all the better. <laughs> I'll finally be free to go out and make my own mark in the world. We had a cat that used to do that. At least I'll be able to say goodbye to the bone-crushing, head-wrenching vision. <laughs> What do you see? We got trouble. It's a good sound. The heartbeat. Oh no. Mm. Dum, dum, dum. <laughs> it feels pretty amazing. Mm -mm. We'll make it work, right? Oh, I'm so sleepy. But I still want. What? <laughs> hey, not that I would. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I wanna stay awake so this day can keep happening. We'll make another one like it tomorrow. You know what? I don't think so. <laughs> This is the first time I've ever really felt this way. What way? Just like I've always wanted to. Like a normal girl falling asleep in the arms of a normal boyfriend. And not for long. <sighs> that more redeemer regenerated more than just you. It's regenerated itself. Yes. Well, it was very much alive in this vision. And angry, if I might mention. I'll have to kill it again. But if it can regenerate itself, how can you kill it? We'll figure it out. I think maybe we ought to bring someone a little... Less supernatural? human, yeah. Don't you want to wake the girl? Not for the world. I don't even know if Angel still has his strength, his it abilities. Just, just tell me how to kill it. Uh, to slay the beast, one must bring darkness to a thousand eyes. Darkness to a thousand <laughs> eyes? <laughs> oh. Easy. <laughs> It's never an easy sight. Part of being human now. I'm gonna kill this thing. Just remember that it's brutal, deadly, and here. Brutal, deadly, and here. They don't stand a chance at all. Where's Angel? Did he leave a message about where he went? You know, I'm in some real pain here, and all you can do is talk about Angel. Has it even occurred to you how this whole turning human thing might affect me? Regrettably, no. 
Maybe it's time you grew up and realized that you can't have everything. You can't have Angel and save the world. It is your fault that he went to fight that thing by himself without... <gasps> what thing? Oh. <laughs> Gotta love Cordelia. Nope. Okay, this is going to be a difficult fight for Poppy as well. That's gonna leave him pretty useless. The end of days has begun and cannot be stopped. For any one of us that falls, ten shall rise. <laughs> you hurt my boyfriend. A great darkness is coming. You got that right. <laughs> Too hard for you, Ben Buffy. What can I do? Together you were powerful. Alone you are dead. Oh. What do you think of the great warrior now? A little bland. Need some salt. Need salt. <laughs> A thousand eyes. Joel, in this floor, Rick. You have to smash the oh, jewel. Oh, yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, Absolutely perfect. She's incredible. You're all right. It's over. I want to know if by killing that thing, has that turned Angel back into his vampire form? Why are you here, lower being? Mora Demon said the end of days had begun. I need to know if he was telling the truth. As far as such things can be told, what happens to the Slayer when these soldiers come? What happens to all mortal beings, albeit sooner in her case? She'll die. And I'm here to beg for her life. It is not our place to grant life and death. And ask you to take mine back. You're asking to be what you were, a demon with a soul, because of the Slayer. Oh, this is a matter of love, does not concern us. The Mora demon came to take a warrior from your cause, and it succeeded. I'm no good to you like this. This one is willing to sacrifice every drop of human happiness and love he's ever known for another. He is not a lower being. We swallow this day as though it never happened. 24 hours from the moment the demon first attacked you would take it back. Oh, there's no uh, other choice. What'll stop us from doing the exact same thing? You. You alone will carry the memory of this day. Can you carry that burden? Yes, dear. I'm guessing that expression isn't because they were all out of fresh OJ at the deli. <laughs> what happened? <sighs> Nothing happened. I went to see the oracles. I asked them to turn me back. What? He told her? Why? Because more than ever, I know how much I love you. No. No, you didn't. And if I stay mortal, one of us will wind up dead. You heard what Morris said. Morris gone. We killed him. He said others would come. They always come, and they always will. I won't just stand by and let you fight. Maybe die alone. Then we fight together. You saw what happened last night. If anything, I'm a liability to you. How can we be together if the cost is your life or the lives of others? I, don't, I, I couldn't tell you. I wasn't sure I could do it if I woke up with you one more morning. I understand. What happens now? The oracles are giving us back today. Turning back time so I can kill Mora before his blood makes me mortal. When? Not a minute. No, it's not enough time. We don't have a choice, it's done. How am I supposed to go on with my life knowing what we had, what we could have had? No one will know but me. Everything we did. It never happened. It did, I know it did. I felt your heart beat. <laughs> it's not enough time. We'll never forget. We'll never forget. So, then let's just stick to the plan. Oh, well. <laughs> Keep our distance until a lot of time has passed. Given enough time, we should be able to... Forget. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna go. <sighs> that was unreal. <laughs> how did you know how to kill it? It's a Mora demon. I've had a lot of time to catch up on my reading. <laughs> So I guess we've covered it, right? Guess we did. Oh, and that's all there really is to say. Yeah. Oh. That's it. That was pretty devastating, but I knew that 
Angel wasn't going to remain mortal. I mean, if you watch this episode and somehow think he's going to remain mortal, then you're just in for a big letdown because nice things don't happen often. And we've seen that here today again. That we never get what we want, really. Seeing Buffy and Angel together and both so happy was bittersweet. It was gorgeous and wonderful, but hurts too because you just know that it's not to be. What they have is, like Cordelia said, I think she referred to it as a forbidden love and it's true it's so true they they love each other so much but they can never be together it's just the way that it is and it's devastating and sad but that's how it is and there's no two ways about it that's just Buffy and Angel but it was so good to see Buffy here in LA with Angel it was just so good to see her here for that short time when they both were so happy and I don't think that I've ever seen Angel that happy before and it's a beautiful thing but sad and I guess it feels so pointless but he will always have that memory of that day that time with Buffy but then you have to think is that gonna just make things worse because you know what it could have been like you know what it was like and it was beautiful and wonderful and then you have to live with the thought of knowing that that's it you cannot have that the thing that you want most it's not yours it'll never be yours but you got to experience what it was like and I think in many ways that that would actually hurt more than if you never experienced that truly truly honestly this is it for Buffy and Angel I uh, I, I love that we had this episode but they will never be together but it, it, it'll, it'll always be this beautiful pairing this perfect impossible imperfect pairing there's just something so endearing and gorgeous about seeing angel being able to be out in the sun being able to enjoy food being able to have a heartbeat see his reflection things that he hasn't been able to do for the longest time i mean he went out in the sun when he had the ring of amara but that's not the same he was actually mortal here for a little while and it was a beautiful thing and I, I love angel i love angel but i i just feel that there is no happiness for him and that devastates me i think honestly buffy will always be so important to him he'll always love her but i really do think if he does want to ever be happy or okay with his life he really does need to start taking those steps forward to stop thinking of her and stop and just sort of be okay with his life as it is now what an episode it was gorgeous and beautiful and i loved it and it was devastating at the same time i hope you guys enjoyed this one as well it was wonderful it was beautiful thanks so much for watching guys have an awesome day i'll see you soon bye